Nagana, Yarrabai, Yangu, which means you're welcome to leave your footprints on our land, or in other words, welcome to Ngunnawal country. I'm proud that Ngunnawal country, with its limestone plains, surrounded by beautiful mountain ranges, rolling hills and mighty flowing rivers, have supported the Ngunnawal people since the dream time. We pay our respects to the neighbouring tribes who are the Ndungara on the northeast, the Yuan on the east side, Wiradjuri to the west, the Wongalui on the south, and the Narigal to the southeast. Through ceremonies, our young people became wise people. The sky and the earth gave us food and water. None of all people have always lived here on the land, now commonly known as the Australian capital. Our homeland also includes New South Wales in the surrounding region. This includes ancient rock artwork and sacred sites in the Madji National Park. I want to thank our Ngunnawal ancestors for the care, protection and respect they gave to this land and for leaving it in good condition for our generations to use today. My dream is that present and future generations can live and walk this land in harmony with all people who live here without fear of racism and discrimination. Welcome to Ngunnawal country. Gumbadaru, Gumba Nani Gianindu, which is good day, it's good to see you in Baragam, which is the language of the community that I grew up in the Darling Downs. And welcome to the Aalia Changing Spaces Library Design Conference. I'm Vicky McDonald, State Librarian and CEO at the State Library of Queensland, and also a past president of Aalia. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the land where we meet and to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. On behalf of Alia, I welcome everyone to the Changing Spaces Conference. This is the third Library Design Awards Conference hosted by Alia and provides a showcase of the best in contemporary library interiors and exteriors in Australia and celebrates the investment in libraries made by our nation's institutions, corporations, local, state and territory governments. As well as a rich program focusing on creative and innovative ideas and the very latest trends for school, public, academic and special libraries from across the country, we'll also have the presentation of the Library Design Awards later today. There were 30 entries for this year's awards, so thank you to the awards judging panel, which was chaired by Janine Schmidt, for all their hard work. We are very much looking forward to the announcements, as I said, later today. Thank you to all the speakers joining us to contribute to the creating and engaging program. And I also thank you, the delegates, for joining us today. Please participate online by asking speakers questions using the submit a question button. You will also have question and answers after each session if time permits. And you can chat with speakers and with other delegates using the chat button. We also encourage you to join the conversation on social media and the hashtag is changing spaces. If you have any technical issues during the day, there's a live chat button in the right hand corner of your screens and that will connect you to the technical team who will be able to help you with any issues. All sessions are being recorded and will be available to watch on demand after the conference. I would like to thank our conference sponsor, RACO, for their generous support of the awards and this conference. And I now invite Trevor McCann, Director of Sales for RACO, to speak. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> 